Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at the use of a module to prepare our text box values uh, for incorporation into the SQL string to be inserted into the database. Uh, the reason that I use this is to make the insert strings look a little bit tidier and to reduce the risk of any errors or typos because it's all done for us um, in the module. So this is the function here that I've created and I've put it into my global module here. Um, because I will use it throughout the project. Um, I've called it strcon, which to me means string convert, um, but you can obviously call it whatever you like. Um, and you can see here that it's accepting two inputs, one of which is the string value, which is coming from the text box in the form, and then a type value where I can tell it what type to convert it to. Now, I've only got two types here at the moment, which are text and date. Um, but when we add some like combo boxes and other stuff into the form, then we will build this module up to include them as well. And so all it's really doing here is for values which we tell it are text, which is this section there under case text, uh, we're just checking if it's null, and if it is, then we're just outputting the word null back into our concatenated string. And if it has a value, then I'm just doubling up on my single quotes, like we talked about a few modules back. I can't remember which one that was in now. Um, but then we're also adding in the single quotes at the end there around the string itself um, so that SQL is aware that it is a string value that it's being given. Um, and then for the values there which we tell it are a date then it's doing the same thing with the null checker and then if it's not null then it's adding the single quotes and also formatting the date in the format that I have chosen just there. So in order to use this in our form, um, what we need to do is we just need to go to our SQL string here and then instead of doing all this gubbins, we are just going to replace this with string con and then let's get rid of all of this. So I'm just going to say that text. Let's just get rid of all of that. Um, oh, I need my ampersand, and then let's get rid of that quote, and then we're just going to do the same here, so we've got string con, and then let's use that there to say text, it's harder to see when you're stripping out of something that's already built, isn't it? <laughs> a date uh, get rid of that and get rid of all of that oh and I think it's that that it doesn't like and I've missed a and there right is that everything let's have a look yeah I think so um okie dokie so what we'll do then is oh I'm gone if I'll just put a breakpoint there on connect database um and then let's just choose date in here for now. Um, and now if I run that and take a look, we can see here that for the value there um, of the first name one, which I gave it a value, it's correctly put the um, quotes in there for us. And for surname, which I left blank, it has correctly put it in as null without the quotes for us. And for the date of birth field, it's added the single quotes for us and formatted it there um, as we told it to. Now, just to prove that that works, if I can do it the other way around, let's have a look. You can see there that it's swapped those around. Um, that's into a American format, so let's just undo that because that's the wrong format. <laughs> cool. So, 
that's it nice and simple so I think that next time let's take a look at setting a limit to the amount of characters that can be typed into a text box so that it doesn't go past the amount that we've allowed in our table um, that's quite a big thing to watch out for when you're developing apps um, and things like this um, so yeah if you found this tutorial useful please do like it and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below thank you for watching